So welcome back guys. My name is Amlan and in today's Make Knowledge Free campaign, we go about looking at the steps that you need to take in case your printer is showing as offline. Now, if you see, I have a brother's printer out there. It's a Wi-Fi network printer, but off late it is starting to show as offline. Let's look at the steps that we can take to troubleshoot. Now, the first things first, both the printer and the device that you are connecting the printer to should be on the same network. Now, if it's LAN, ensure that they are on the LAN network, the printer is on the LAN network. And if it's Wi-Fi, ensure that the printer is on the same Wi-Fi network as that of your computer or laptop. Now here, the first thing that I will try and do is, I will go ahead, tap on settings, inside settings, I will go to network and inside network, I will check whether the Wi-Fi network is the same Wi-Fi network to which the printer is connected. If that's the case, then it's okay. If it's not the case, then please make both the printer and your system connected to the same Wi-Fi network. I will go back to home and then I will go to devices. Inside devices, I will go to printers and you can see that the brother printer is showing us offline here. I will open up the printer and I will open like the queue here. I will right click on any one document and I will cancel all documents here. So I will delete all the queue. So I, I need to do this for all everything that is there. So all the documents that were on the queue is now deleted. Next, I want to clean the spooling services of the printer. For this, I want you to press on your keyboard Windows R. So once you press Windows R, type in services.msi. Once you, sorry, .msc. And then press enter. Once you press services.msc, you will get the services a window in this simply press p and you will see there is something called as printer spooler that appears right click and like here you will see there is a stop button and it will basically stop it and then you will have the option of starting and like restarting this so now you can restart the spooler stopping restarting the spooler spooler also works wonderfully well now third, I want you to check whether the printer is connected and whether it's working. So go there and check that. So here the printer appears to be in deep sleep mode. I simply wake it up and I also restart the printer at this point. So the printer has restarted. At this point, I will also ask to check on your system whether it appears or restart your system as well at this time. Okay, the printer shows that it's ready. Now you can check on the system. So here it is still showing offline. I will advise to remove the device. Once you have removed the device, you can again tap on add a printer. So right at the top, you will see this add a printer option. So you tap on it and you can see that it is searching for printers and it has found the printer. So I will add the device. It is now trying to connect. So it is not connecting. At this point, what I will advise is simply restarting your PC. In fact, what I observed is I simply tried reconnecting this device again. And once I again, like I just clicked on it and I tried connecting even after it failed and I didn't have to really reconnect my PC. And you can see that it's now perfectly fine. It's ready. So my printer is now not any longer in offline mode. So just a few steps, remove the queue, remove the uh, spooling then restart your printer and at this point remove the device and then try again finding for devices try to re-add it it may show initial failure but like i have done here i again tried connecting to it and it really works so hopefully in case your device is showing offline just ensure that your device and your system is connected to the same network then try cleaning the spooling and things like that remove the device try finding the printer again using add a printer so like you do this, you search for printers. Once the printer appears on the list, you simply try and reconnect to the device. Once you do that, you can actually find the printer and everything. So once it happens, you can set this as default printer. And once it's been made default, it will appear as default and it will be ready. So guys, this is how I solved my troubleshooting issues. In case you have something else that works for you, kindly share it with us so that viewers in this channel will come to know. That should be all from my side. If this helps, kindly consider subscribing and please do share this channel with your friends and family. Until next time, it's me, Amran, signing off.